toxic relationships, what to look out for and what to expect coming up next. So I want to discuss um, a toxic relationship and some of the things that I see in an interview with Gail King and Joycelyn Savage and Azrael Clary. So I'm going to get right into it. The first thing that I that kind of bothered me that stuck out to me was when um, Gail King was asking Azrael about her relationship with R. Kelly, and she said. We're with him. We're with him. And to me, it just sounded so, like, defensive, you know? She just sounded really defensive. I, it, It's kind of, it's, it's really strange because it's like we know these allegations and all the issues that he has with women and the fact that he's a pedophile, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly because you know, you know how things are legally and how they can go. And the fact that he has um, a STD and the way he treats women, that he's abusive. So the fact that she just said we're with him, it, it doesn't sound healthy to me. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a healthy relationship. I feel like she's saying we're standing behind him. We're supporting him. Even though all the whole world is against him, I'm still standing behind this man because I'm with him, you know, and, and and it just means to me, it's it's not a healthy relationship. <laughs> it's not a healthy relationship. When you got to say, I'm with him, you know, it's not a healthy relationship. I mean, we all know y'all living together. You know, there's sexual a- activities that y'all having together. You know, we know he's spending money and he's taking care of both of these women. But we're with him. You know, you the answer should be something completely different if you're with somebody that you love. With, with, with R. Kelly. We're with him. That's our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, when Joycelyn Savage said um, a very strong relationship, it's like she's kind of adding on to what um, Azrael is saying. And it and it doesn't, to me, she doesn't strike me as like a a strong-minded person. She's kind of like a follower because she has to, you know, it's not coming off as her own words, you know. She has to take somebody else's words and just kind of add on to it and, and kind of follow behind what they're saying. So it doesn't seem to be, to, actually, it seems like it's the opposite. <laughs> you know, you're trying so hard to convince everybody of this because you know somewhere deep, 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 deep down inside that this is bizarre. This is crazy. And you got to have some type of conscience somewhere deep down inside to telling you that this is not right. So but on the outside, you're just saying, you know, we're in a very strong relationship because you're defending yourself from the world. And, you know, we all know how it feels to be attacked um, by somebody. You know, everybody's been attacked or bullied or whatever. Or they wanted to defend themselves from something. So I just feel like both of them are really, you know, defensive. Um, Joyce Lynn just, you know, to my knowledge, these two girls are the ones that are out in the public, but it's other girls staying in the house with him right now. And, you know, he's not going to bring them out, but he's bringing these two, two out because the case is so public and their parents had, you know, fought so hard to get the public's attention on this. So it's very sad. And they, um, it's just not a healthy relationship. You can be in a relationship with a pervert, <laughs> a narcissist, you know, it will always be complicated and that's exactly what they meant to say that this is a complicated situation but we're with him you know we're in a strong you know relationship or a strong situation but it's just a very sexual situation obviously it's nothing strong about that that's a very weak that's a lot of weakness and it won't last long because it's toxic what is your relationship both of you with 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 r kelly we're with him that's yeah, our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. You right. just said it. Uh-huh. Both, a very strong relationship as both well. Both of you. Yes, yes, most definitely. You know, how do we say this well? Oh, my gosh. This is this is exactly what I'm talking about. Asriel talking about their family, and they have their 
own individual relationship, but they all together. It's just, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not the one for the whole three way relationship thing, but if y'all are family, why is it that neither one of you guys can talk to your own family? Both of you have parents, moms and, and dads, and both, both of your parents are married. They're still together. So how is it that you come from a household, a two parent household, and you cannot talk to either one of the, your parents because of this guy? Joycelyn or Ezreal, neither one of them have a relationship with their parents right now just because of somebody that they're in a relationship with. That's very toxic to me. You should be able to talk to your family. And then they, and they got siblings that are around the same age as them, too. They can't even talk to their siblings or anybody. It's just all about this one person right now. That's not good, you know. That's actually, that's very terrible. You should be able to have a relationship with your mother and your father. And it shouldn't be nothing that changed, really, if you're with someone that, that you claim you love or or whatever, that you're in a strong relationship. Jocelyn Savage's words, not mine. It, it shouldn't have changed. You know, you grew up with these people, with your family, and all of a sudden, as soon as you meet this one guy, boom, you can't talk to any of these people no more. It's because this guy is so toxic. His life is on the line. As far as, you know, having his freedom taken away from him, he's toxic. He's going to jail, more than likely, and he he kind of, well, he did. He brainwashed these girls and manipulated them so it's, it's, it works better for him. You know, when it, when brainwashing and all that stuff is going on, it works better. It's easier when you ain't got nobody in your corner telling you positive things or keeping your head clear. So now he's they're all under his control because nobody else can talk to them, talk some sense into them. So narcissists love people that are, you know, away from their families. It's just easier to, to use them and have, you know, have them under their mind control the way they want to. So that's why they're so defensive and all it's about is them, and then they're attacking their families. You know, how do we say this without being inappropriate? Is this a three-way relationship, or do you each have a separate relationship with them? How does this work? Well, both I'm of curious. those. Yeah. Both we both have our individual relationships with him, and right. we all are family all together. We have our moments where we sit and watch movies all together. We go to amusement parks all together. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Azrael. The reason why Azrael got so um, defensive when she really got angry when um, Gail King asked her, is it a three-way sexual relationship, is because she knows that's exactly what it is. That That's all it is. It's just sex, honey. I mean, it. you know it, and that's why you're going so hard to fight against it because it, it, it called it out, and you didn't expect that. You didn't want to be approached about it like that, but that's exactly what it is. It's not a loving, it's not a healthy relationship because a healthy relationship will not, first of all, your man will not be like having the the number one case in the world as far as scandal, you know, the biggest scandal in the world right now, you know what I'm saying? And you wouldn't be sitting here on CBS morning news show defending him. You wouldn't be sitting here having all these girls telling you all these horrible stories about this guy. You wouldn't be sitting here with another girl. I mean, it's just too much. I don't believe in the three-way relationship thing. I believe in the one-on-one -on -one monogamous relationship. But just because, I mean, if I'm with a guy, he's going to have to, you know, I'm like, yes, this is my man. And he better be like, yes, that's my woman or that's my wife. So it's just, you're so defensive because you know this is not, it's not good. So you're just trying to defend it, but it is just sex. That's all it is. And people get mad when you call them out and tell them what it is because this guy has probably told them it's everything else more than that. He's got their minds so messed up. He probably tells them he loves them and all these crazy things, buys them, you know, nice clothes and, you know, get their hair done and all that stuff. But it's just sex at the end of the day. You are, in a sense, you are a sex slave to him, just like, you know, so many others were in the past. You know, how do we say this without being inappropriate? Is this a three-way relationship, or do you each have a separate relationship with him? How does this work? Well, both I'm of curious. those. 
Yeah, both we both have our individual relationships with him, and right. we all are family all together. We have our moments where we sit and watch movies all together. We go to amusement parks all together. I'm not talking about Azrael going to movies and sitting and watching, uh, going to parks. I'm talking about is it a, is it a three way sexual relationship? Sexually, between, well, first of all, I'm not of here to talk about my personal life, okay. and I would never share with no one what I do in or outside of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And as a woman, I'm sure you would not either. Yes. No, I wouldn't, but I... But, okay, then. But, so, no, yeah. no, you're Next right. Next question. No, you're right. I would not, but this is a... Now, Israel said again, there are people all over the world that have multiple girlfriends. Multiple girlfriends. I've, you know, never seen anybody that I know that has multiple girlfriends. I, you know, even guys that I went to school with, they were dealing with one girl at a, you know, for that time, and... If they were a cheater, the girl didn't know. You know what I'm saying? That was the difference about it. But you're talking about multiple girlfriends. Like, you know, y'all all know about each other and y'all okay with it. The only reason why I feel like y'all okay with it because money was involved. Y'all were being taken care of financially. And it's like, we have this thing in our culture that is like, if a guy got a lot of money, you do whatever, you know, you need to do. If you need to sleep with other women, you know, whatever he likes. So you have to, you know, in, in, in some people's, in some women's heads or some girls' heads, you have to be okay with it because this is the lifestyle you want to live. So you're willing to make yourself okay with it. But you weren't raised like that. Your parents didn't, you know, raise you to be that type of girl, to, to be with somebody that has, you know, that's obviously sleeping with different girls. So it's not just you. So it's not okay for me. And she shouldn't be okay with it. So I, I'm just wondering how this is going to end. You know, what kind of, you know, woman is she going to be coming out of this situation if he goes to jail? Both of them. What kind of relationships are they going to be in? And, you know, how are they going to get help? How are they going to get treated for this, this you know, bad way of thinking? This is a very dangerous way of thinking because there's plenty of faithful guys out here that would, you know, love to be with girls like that because they're very um attractive and they would love to treat them good. But how is this damage within their thinking and their, you know, their attitudes going to be fixed in the long run? It's not a different it's a circumstance. There are people all over the world who have multiple girlfriends. It's no different. Do both of you all believe you're in love with him? Of Absolutely. Course. I feel like Ezreal just told on herself. I mean, she's lying for her, you know, in her mind, her man, she's lying for her man. So when you lie, it is very hard to lie. That's why I don't lie. I just tell the truth. But, you know, you have to keep up with a lot of things. And what she was saying just did not make sense. She said when she first met him, she was 17. Everybody knows that this guy, when you meet him, you have to instantly start having sex with him. Like, on the first time that you see him, you have to have sex. That's just how he is. And it's 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 very, to be more graphic about it, it's it's not safe sex and, you know, um, a lot of women, to my knowledge, have gotten an STD from him. So you're saying you first met him when you were 17, and you and you and then she goes in and start lying about her on her parents because she just she she hates them right now, you know. And it shouldn't be that way. But she's saying trying to turn this around and defend her man and deflect and all that stuff. She's saying that they were forcing her to take pictures with him and all of these things that. Yeah, no parent would do that's in a right state of mind. I don't believe these particular parents would do anything like that. But she's kind of like taken up from him for him, and obviously she is trying to make people think that her parents are crazy, that they are nuts. But it's not working too well because everybody, all the interviews that her parents done, everybody knows that they really love her, and it's sad that she's going against her parents like that, hurting her parents because. You know, they raised her. They brought her into this world. And, you know, you're willing to lie on them and to just to hurt them just for a guy. It's so sad because they'll always be your parents, you know. You can't take that away. They'll always be your parents. So, obviously, she hates them. And she doesn't want anything to do with them, obviously. Because she's just living a life that, you know, she's comfortable with. She's been with a man that... I, you know, I still believe manipulated her. He's highly manipulative and he's a brainwash. He brainwashed them, both of them. And it's sad that they're missing time with their parents and 
their siblings and um I just heard Joyce Joycelyn's um grandmother just passed away and she didn't go to the funeral or anything. So that's just not healthy. That's really not healthy. If you're in a relationship with somebody, they won't let you go to the funeral of your grandmother. You can't make it. It's just horrible. That's not a relationship. That's not a good relationship. It's very, very unhealthy. Very bad. And he's a manipulative liar. I'll tell you why they're concerned, Azurel, because they say she's 17. We found text messages that indicated that she was having sex with R. Kelly when she no. was 17. Is that true? No, that is a lie. That is a lie. I was not having sex with him at 17. Why would they want to lie about you, their daughter? Okay, so <laughs> when I first met Robert, my parents told me to lie about my age. So when I met him, he thought that I was 18. On top of that, when I was 17, my parents were actually making me, trying to get me to take photos with him, take sexual videos with him, all kinds of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Your parents encouraged you to do sexual videos yes. with R. Kelly? Yes. And they said, because if they ever have to blackmail him, what they're trying to do now, they can use it against him, which is exactly... Joyce Lynn response just kind of... It's just annoying to see a follower, somebody just so weak just so freaking weak she just said everything that she's saying is true like the only thing you're doing is taking off of what she's saying and just building off of it you cannot have your own opinion make your own mind up you just she just doesn't strike me as the smartest person like oh everything that she's saying is true like have your own opinions on this speak up for your own self I can't trust anything neither one of these girls are saying right now because they're with a highly manipulative narcissist who has a, a criminal past and a, a history of sleeping with underage girls. So I can't trust anything that neither one of them are saying. They're not credible. I can't trust them. And I, and I won't. I won't trust either one of them. I'll just be waiting around down the line for them to tell the real story of what's going on. One day it's going to come out especially if this guy goes to jail they're going to have to go back home because to my knowledge his you know he's having really really bad um financial struggles so i don't think he's going to be able to take care of too much of anybody while he's locked up we'll see um joyce Lynn, i see you nodding a lot with what yes. she's saying why are you nodding in agreement with what she's saying because everything that she's saying is true um, our parents are basically out here just to get money and your they're parents, scamming. You're saying the same as saying... Well, both for saying... our parents. Both for our parents are basically yeah. out here to trying to get money and scam because they didn't agree on what happened, you know, with the music or wherever it could be. And they're just... When Azrael said that her dad is, you know, when she just said this, her dad is the one that you need to watch out for, it's, again, deflecting. You know... I. And that lets me know she heard some of the stories about R. Kelly because she's saying that, you know, she's pushing all this blame on her dad. She's blame shifting. She's pushing all of this stuff. He's the one that's a manipulator. He's the one that you need to watch out for. So she's taking the blame off of R. Kelly and putting it onto her dad. And it's, and it's sad, you know, but it just lets me know how messed up these girls are. They got it really, really bad. I can't imagine what they deal with every single day being around a, a pedophile you can't have a relationship with a pedophile with an abuser it's not a relationship it's not real you know it's very toxic you never you'd never be happy with somebody like this and this is why he picked girls that are so young because they don't see that they can't dissect that they can't they can't accept it you know that this is not a good thing that they're in that they're involved in they can't accept it so that's why they're so so defensive about it both of our parents are basically yeah. out here to trying to get money and scam because they didn't agree on what happened you know with the music or wherever it could be and they're just very upset this is the first time hearing to be honest with you that your parents are trying to get money from r kelly okay because your father told a very different story <clears throat> yeah to well, me last night yeah he's he's the manipulator He's very manipulative, so he's the one you need to watch out for. But uh, my dad and my mom, they started to send threats to both me and him. They said, oh, I'll put all your naked pictures all over the world. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to ruin him if he doesn't send $20,000 to this bank account by Monday. I feel like she crying because it's painful, like, to, to do all of this stuff. I feel like her conscience deep, 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 deep down inside, it's just a lot to do all of this, to really defend someone, 
you know, that you know is not a good person. You got to know it somewhere deep down inside. And it, and it's painful. It's confusing. It's just it's just a lot. And she's pushing all the pain, pain and the blame on her parents. So deep, deep down inside, it hurts. And yes, yeah, she's saying something differently out of her mouth. But yeah, deep down inside, that's a lot on somebody. You should never be going through all of this stuff if you're if you were in a healthy relationship with somebody somebody listen to me like i'm some hoe i'm not i'm your child exactly yeah you sound very angry with your parents uh, you sound very angry and very pained <laughs> tell me Ashra, why you're crying tell me i'm crying because you guys don't know the truth you guys i believe in some facade that our parents are saying this is all lies for money and if you can't see that you're ignorant and you're stupid as because you want to be all because that's the world we live so you see how she just um cleaned up her attitude real quick the tears are, are, are you know she's over crying she's talking about they're not talking about decades they're talking about what's going on right now and it's like it's important because you got to know who you're dealing with. You cannot date someone who's who's a toxic person. This guy is very toxic. You know, you cannot do it. That's how we know he targets younger women because they don't have, they don't seem to have any values right now. They don't seem to have any morals. They seem to just be, you know, just airheads, both of them right now. They don't seem to have any standards, any beliefs, any goals. It's just everything is out the window. <laughs> That's why she said we don't want to talk about anything else. Just, just right now, right now, and it's just you know it's just deflating a whole bunch of things, and just to be with this one person that is not good for you. So this will not last. It 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 won't last. At some point, we know his pattern. You know of, of you know getting rid of girls and you know all these things, and then getting someone younger and younger. You know, so at some point this will be over too. So. I just, you know, I just hope these girls come out of this and, and, you know, are able to build themselves back up at some point in their lives. The negativity sells. Exactly. Gossip is what sells. Exactly. Rumors are what sells. Exactly. But Jocelyn and, and Azrael, this is more than gossip. This is more than just rumors. These are decades of allegations against Robert Kelly. We're not here to talk about decades. We're here to talk about what our parents are doing right now. Right. And what they're doing right now is all for money. Right. So that's pretty much my take on that um situation ship with um R. Kelly or the three way relationship, R. Kelly, Joycelyn Savage, and Azrael Clary is not healthy. Um in a healthy relationship, you should be able to have access to your family. You should be able to have your own goals, accomplish things that you want to accomplish. All of a sudden, you know, Azrael doesn't want to sing anymore and she has a beautiful, beautiful voice. All of a sudden you you don't do want to do this, your parents uh, wanted you to do this and, and just blaming everything on her parents. It's very toxic, very hurtful. And I can't imagine what her parents are going through. All they want to do is have a relationship back with their daughter. And I'm no, I'm pretty sure they're wishing they would have never, you know, took her to that R. Kelly concert because they just can't believe this is, you know, this is all happening. And, then, you know, I just do think that there'll be a reunion one day. But, you know, later down the line, there'll be a reunion because it's too much of a high profile case right now R. Kelly does need them in a sense to you know basically testify on his behalf if it you know if need be if they are um involved in the trial and it looks like they may possibly be so they're going to be under his um care and control right now because he's not going to let them go you know anytime soon but I I just wanted to let you guys know my take on um toxic relationships if you're um trying to date a narcissist or somebody with a very bad background a bad history you're going to deal with stuff like that you're going to be trying to defend this and defend that and it's no defending these type of people because they are animals they're they're monsters everybody knows this and they have a pattern you know the you know you may not um the people that are in the you know situation right now they don't see what's coming to them but you know it's it's just not good to date people with such a bad you know history like that and just just a horrible, um, just a horrible lifestyle, just a horrible, toxic lifestyle. And narcissistic men will definitely, they'll, they'll definitely 
you know, abuse and continue to abuse women and use women. It never changes. They do not change at all. I know I was in one. I was in a toxic relationship. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.